It's as good as gold. Today, I'm sharing six simple steps to coloring the color gold with colored pencils. Plus, watch to the end for a bonus tip. And for anyone who's new here, I'm Lisa Marie. Welcome to my studio. I've been a professional artist for over a decade and earned a master's in art history while studying Renaissance artists in Florence, Italy. All right, step one, block in shadows with the darkest colors in the color palette. This will help you map out the lighting and give the image a sense of volume. You don't have to press hard. That would just fill in the tooth or texture of the paper. Also, I'll list the exact colors I'm using in the video description, so you can use that for reference. And today I'm using Prismacolor pencils, but I'll list all the art supplies in the video description for you as well. Step two, layer the second darkest color over the darkest color. That's right, we're layering colors. This will give the shadows depth and a nice rich hue. You still don't have to press down hard with the pencils. Step three, fill in the mid-tone colors. This color palette has dark, medium, and light colors. The medium, or mid-tone hues, fill in a lot of the surface area. They're the bridge that connects the darkest and lightest colors. But be careful, don't put color in the brightest areas. And if you want to color along with me, which would be marvelous, this coloring page is available to download. I'll put its link in the video description for you. Next is step four. Use the lightest colors in the color palette to blend the other colors together. Now you can press a bit harder with the pencil. These lighter colors help blend all those other colors together. But try to remember, we're still not putting any color in the brightest areas. Let the white of the paper show through in the brightest spots. And if you're taking a shine to this video, be sure to tap that like button and leave a comment. Let me know what else you want to learn to color. And on to step five. Go back with the darkest colors to push those shadows. This will push the contrast between the darkest and lightest areas and help give the image a three-dimensional look. Then there's step six. Use the white pencil on the lightest, brightest areas for strong, smooth highlights. Yep, we're pushing that contrast. And here's the bonus tip. Push that contrast further for a really shiny metallic look. Here I'm using Flymax white paint marker to make those highlights even brighter. Remember, you can always go back to add more color for rich color saturation. And that's it for today. Thank you so much for joining me in the studio. Be sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss the next video. And as always, stay creative.